I mentioned in a previous clip about seeing Johnny Carson live when I was 17. Um, I'm going to put a couple of pictures here of Johnny Carson. Um, I think he was involved somehow with the Sahara. You'll see the uh, stills, and then I'll come back to it. My brother George was already watching Johnny Carson. I wasn't quite mature enough for Johnny Carson and talk shows like this. Um, I've watched some clips now of Johnny, and the guy was just an incredible master. And I saw uh, a quote recently where, I don't know who said it, it might have been Thoreau, but somebody said um, something to the effect of, the master will be there when the student is ready. And so anyway, we went and saw uh, uh, Johnny Carson. But it's not like you just show up and walk in. You have to get in line for an 8 o'clock ticket in the morning that may or may not let you in. So we were out there at 4.30 in the morning, and there was already people lined up out there. So I... <laughs> I, I wired up my uh, my little hoodie, and I, I literally slept on the hard-ass asphalt like this. Asphalt. I slept on asphalt. We, I mean, we had a football and stuff to throw around. You know, we're 17, 18 years old. So we waited. We got our tickets that may or may not let us in. And then about 4, I think they tape about 5.30. Um, so about 4, 4 o'clock we got back out there. There was a line. But the staff in, you know, ushers clothing said, you know, you'll all be in. You may not sit together, but you'll all be in. It seems to me that we didn't sit, uh, sit together. You, it was way cool. I, I'm glad. Betty White was one of the hosts, or the uh, guests. And she was married to Alan Ludden at the time, who hosted Password. I never, I never, I can't get Password. I'm an idiot. But, um... My God, Betty White's still alive, and nobody, hardly anybody else, except for Keith Richards and the Queen of England. So, um, if you got any of these three in your death pool, <laughs> you're not going to win. Um, so it, it, you go in, and they, it seems to me that they had somebody kind of come out and warm up the crowd, and then they said, you know, if you act stupid and yell and scream during the taping, we'll eject you without even a second thought. So, you know, every everybody behaved. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Johnny comes out. He, he does his monologue. They break the commercial. You, you know, the, the band plays him out as he does his golf swing and stuff. And then he stood there and, you know, introduced himself and, you know, like we don't know who he is. You know, th uh, thanked us for coming and kind of said, you know, this is how it's going to work. And he was very, I don't know about him personally. I know he's had some unfortunate decisions in his marital life. But he was an absolute consummate professional when he was on stage. And do, and it, and, uh, it reminded me of when we were in Edinburgh, Scotland. And we went to the football, the soccer in America, but... The football game, or the footy. Um, I think soccer on TV is goddamn boring. But soccer in person, it was fascinating. I'm thinking, you know, I can, and, and we're sitting high way, and we, we sat in the top row of the stadium. So, you know, we can see everything. And it was an entirely different, it was an entirely different experience watching the footy when you could see everything. And it was like this with um, with Johnny Carson. You know, watching this show at the time, you know, just I was just not interested. But by God, watching him tape and everything around it, it was an incredibly valuable use of my day, and I've never forgotten it. So, in closing, I have seen Johnny Carson tape. Betty White was one of the guests. Um, it was worth our entire day that we spent there. Uh, I'm glad that I did it, and, well, Johnny Carson is a, a, a consummate professional. Thank you for watching Storytime with Joe, and enjoy your day.